What if I told you that reverse aging isn't a myth? Sounds too good to be true? Well, Harvard genetics professor David Sinclair has cracked the code to look way younger than you really are. Is this your first meal of the day? It's now almost six o'clock. Uh, it will be, yeah. No breakfast, no lunch. No. Well, because it, it's clear based on thousands of years of human existence that uh, eating less is if it's not starvation or malnutrition, it's good for you. Um, and there are three main things that I take and have taken for over a decade. The one chemical that I take every day is resveratrol, which is the red wine chemical. And that comes from grapes sprinkled into some yogurt in the morning. And you can achieve it with no fuss. Watch this video till the end to reveal the groundbreaking method to look ageless in your aging years. How to look years younger. David Sinclair, a 55-year-old professor in the Department of Genetics and co-director of the Paul F. Glenn Center for Biology of Aging Research at Harvard Medical School, follows a strict daily routine to stay young and healthy. His routine diet includes green matcha tea, polyphenols in his yogurt in the morning, and sometimes a chunk of 80% dark chocolate. And what we've discovered is that there are molecules in foods that we eat that activate these defenses in our body uh, that these genes control. In an interview with GQ, Sinclair once said that he doesn't work out every other day or sleep more than six hours, going against the typical recommended sleep of seven to nine hours and 150 minutes of exercise each week. That being the case, Sinclair is still able to stay looking 10 years younger than his age using his newly invented reverse aging method. Sinclair said, I think a lot of us think that when you're in your 20s, you're impervious to aging and illness. And what we now know is that the epigenetic clock starts ticking from birth and that what we do in our 20s does affect our ultimate longevity. David Sinclair was born in 1969 in Australia and was raised in St. Ives, New South Wales. Sinclair completed his BSc in biochemistry with honors in 1991 and PhD in molecular genetics in 1995, specializing in gene regulation in yeast. Sinclair was also granted an Australian Commonwealth Prize. After completing his PhD, Sinclair began working at MIT as a postdoctoral researcher with Dr. Leonard Guarente. Sinclair was later hired at Harvard Medical School, whose lab was quite small for Sinclair's experiments. Consequently, Paul F. Glenn donated $5 million to Harvard, forming Paul F. Glenn Laboratories for Biological Mechanisms of Aging. Sinclair became the founding director of Paul F. Glenn Laboratories. Throughout his professional journey, Sinclair carried out a lot of research on aging and how to slow down the aging process. His research began with sirtuins and their activation, but later he discovered that there's more to aging than he thinks. Processes and research on aging. Scientists researching the process of growing old have argued about what actually drives the process. They discovered that mutations in DNA can completely alter and mess up a normal cell's function, which often results in the cell's death. However, there was a contradiction that older people's cells aren't altered in any way. Also, animals and people who have large amounts of altered cells don't often age prematurely. Sinclair, as a result, shifted his research more toward another side of the genome, called the epigenome. Given that all cells have the same DNA pattern, the epigenome is something that differentiates between multiple cells, turning skin cells into skin cells and brain cells into brain cells. The epigenome does this by giving instructions to cells on which genes should be active and which should be inactive. The chromatin structure loosens in some areas, including the area around the brain, and it tightens in other areas. And if it loosens in an area that it's not supposed to, a wrong gene might be expressed. In his research paper, Sinclair and his team claimed that they could let the mice age swiftly, but also reverse their aging process while restoring some biological signs of youthfulness in the animals. According to Sinclair, the aging process isn't the result of permanent changes, mutations, in the cells, but the changes or faults in the instructions from the epigenome. When the epigenetic instructions are lost or faulty for the cells that need to continue to work, the process of aging gets triggered. He said, Underlying aging is information that is lost in cells, not just the accumulation of damage. That's a paradigm shift in how we think about aging. Sinclair compares the process of aging to computer software, saying it works in the same way as software operates off hardware, but sometimes it can be corrupted and needs a reboot. If the cause of aging was because a cell became full of mutations, then age reversal would not be possible. But by showing that we can reverse the aging process, 
That shows that the system is intact, that there is a backup copy, and the software needs to be rebooted. In the mice experiment, Sinclair and his team artificially rebooted cells to renew a backup copy of epigenetic instructions, while also removing the corrupted signals that push the cells toward aging. They imitated the aging effects on the epigenome after causing breaks in the DNA of the young mice. These artificial changes to the epigenome caused the mice to age within weeks. Sinclair noticed that mice were growing grey fur, had lower body weight even on a regular and unchanged diet, lessened activity, and increased weakness. The rebooting was done by using gene therapy involving three genes that instruct cells to reprogram themselves. As with mice, the instructions were given to cells to begin the epigenetic changes again, which represent their specific identity. For example, for the cells that had already aged and lost a few of their identity features, such as kidney and skin cells, the therapy helped recover their identity through epigenetic changes. These mice are genetically altered to let us turn on and off a special enzyme. When we turn the enzyme on, the DNA within many of the mouse cells are cut at a number of locations at a rate that is about three times the natural frequency of DNA breakage. And each breaking of the DNA initiates a repair. Aside from epigenetic alterations, aging experts have shown 12 hallmarks of aging, including cellular senescence and chronic inflammation. Lifestyle factors, including other interventions, might be able to delay or stop the aging process. According to Sinclair, diseases like Alzheimer's, cancer, diabetes, and heart failure are the result of the cellular aging process and might be treated by slowing down the aging process itself. While many experts have said that calorie restriction might help slow down the aging process, David Sinclair thinks it is a bad idea. The interesting thing about calorie restriction is that we used to think the body was in some way slowing down, maybe in the number of heartbeats or production of free radicals, but it turns out that's wrong. When we're calorie restricting, what we're really doing is telling the body that now is not the time to go forth and multiply. Sinclair then found a compound called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD, that might be able to achieve the effects we want in our bodies through calorie restriction. Sirtuins, a group of seven specific genes, carry many benefits related to calorie restriction. Sirtuins, as per Sinclair, are highly helpful in controlling the aging process. These longevity gene pathways are turned on by changes in lifestyle such as exercise and calorie restriction. They control a variety of protective processes. There's hundreds of things that they do, and we still don't know everything, but they protect the chromosomes, they protect stem cells from being lost, they protect cells from senescing. The good news is that sirtuins can be activated when there aren't any amino acids or sugar, or when NAD levels are increased. Diet. Upon uncovering the secret to looking young, Sinclair didn't hesitate to change his routine. David Sinclair adds multiple ways to his routine to stay youthful and healthy, taking resveratrol, skipping breakfast, cutting out sugar, and eating plant-based foods. He wants others to follow his routine to achieve healthy aging and a healthy epigenome. Berries, peanuts, and red wine are generally rich in resveratrol, a polyphenol or natural antioxidant. Sinclair takes it in the morning with a couple of mouthfuls of yogurt. His yogurt mix also has a share of olive oil, probiotics, and nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN supplements. So this is a typical breakfast for me. It's a couple of spoonfuls of low-fat yogurt, plain yogurt, with some resveratrol and some NMN. Alongside resveratrol, Sinclair also consumes green matcha tea, which is full of polyphenols like ECGC catechins. The benefits of polyphenols are even backed by research. Polyphenols help improve the gut microbiome, reduce the risk of tissue damage, and enhance mood and heart health. Secondly, David Sinclair prefers to leave out his breakfast. He goes for intermittent fasting that lasts between 16 and 18 hours, before he has large meals. Sinclair says, I think three meals a day plus snacks is too much. It puts the body in a state of abundance, which turns off our longevity genes. So you want to have a period of fasting each day, starting as early as your 20s. For Sinclair, three types of intermittent fasting work wonders, including extended fasting, time-restricted feeding, and fast-mimicking diet. His diet has a five-day calorie restriction of only 1,100 calories per day, which is achieved by plant-based foods, low-carb, low protein, and high healthy fat foods. This type of diet gives the effects of fasting on your body. Sinclair had his own reasons to follow this diet. He wanted to deactivate a protein called mTOR. I was eating a large amount of protein, not just fat, but eggs and all that stuff. And um, 
And now that I have less protein, I think that mTOR pathway that's really important for longevity um, in animals and probably people is really kicking in in a way that had never done so before. When we consume protein, mTOR is activated in our body. mTOR, as a result, controls protein production in the body and affects cell division, growth, and survival. Sinclair says, when you eat a big steak, mTOR is activated. And that's why you build up more muscle than if you don't eat a lot of protein. According to Sinclair, we do need protein to survive and thrive. However, too much protein can give rise to age-related issues like diabetes and cancer. Therefore, he suggests that only a limited degree of muscle mass is best for longevity. If you downregulate the activity of this mTOR protein complex, you get longer life because it's activating a process called autophagy, which recycles proteins. He also said that intermittent fasting for people younger than 20 might not be helpful but risky. It could result in starvation and malnutrition. His suggested tip, intermittent fasting, is backed by research that if can lower the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and dementia. However, fasting is not best for everyone, especially people with eating disorders. You may begin your intermittent fasting on a small scale, adding small but nutritious meals and staying hydrated. Polyphenols and fasting aside, David Sinclair focuses on cutting out sugar and meat from his diet. His plant-based diet includes rice, almonds, and couscous. Generally, Sinclair doesn't drink alcohol or milk. However, when there's an occasion, Sinclair finds himself consuming a small amount of alcohol. According to Sinclair, his reduced alcohol intake has made a big difference in his blood biomarkers and epigenetic age. Within a few months, Sinclair was able to lower his biological age as well through his plant-based controlled diet. Research shows that a plant-based diet can help fight the risk of diabetes, dementia, obesity, and high blood pressure. It can also save you from cardiovascular diseases. Sugar, on the other hand, especially added sugar in highly processed foods, can make you prone to diabetes, obesity, and heart problems. Sinclair cut it out for good and suggests the same to anyone who is looking to appear younger. Other factors and supplements. David Sinclair starts his morning with a bunch of supplements, including Athletic Greens AG1, Nicotinamide Mononucleotide, NMN, Resveratrol, which he takes with his yogurt, Spermidine, Quercetin, and Fisetin. Since he has a family history of heart disease, Sinclair also consumes statin and low-dose aspirin to fight against any potential heart risks. Sinclair takes Athletic Greens to make sure that he's fulfilling his dietary requirements. A lot of evidence on thousands of papers that a plant-based diet is, in the long run, really, really the best one to be on. Because I'm on a vegetarian vegan diet, which I describe as being a newbie struggling vegan, I need to ensure I get all the necessary nutrients. Athletic Greens is full of vitamins and plant-based whole foods that ensure I don't lack those nutrients. When you're on a vegan diet and have also given up dairy, it's crucial to make sure there's adequate nutrition. AG1 is the best possible complete dietary solution, made to improve entire body health all at once. It includes 75 top quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. AG1 is available in powder form, making it highly easy to absorb in the body and fulfilling its nutritional requirements. Sinclair also takes 1G of NMN, combining it with olive oil or natural yogurt to boost absorption. NMN helps in the formation of NAD+, which is important for cellular metabolism. Sinclair consumes it only to produce NAD plus in his body to extend the aging process. Apart from NMN and AG1, Sinclair also takes one milligram of spermidine and 500 milligrams each of quercetin and physetin. Spermidine is not only available in supplement form, but you can also find it in cheese, legumes, mushrooms, and soy. It lowers the risk of neurodegenerative diseases, cardiovascular diseases, and cancer. Spermidine is a very interesting molecule. Uh, you can find it in every type of cell, uh, including plants. Quercetin and fisetin, on the other hand, get rid of senescent cells, acting as antioxidants, reducing inflammation, and avoiding tissue damage that comes with aging. Sinclair's supplement stack doesn't end here. He also considers keeping up with other supplements, like vitamin D3, vitamin K2, TMG, trimethylglycine or betaine, and omega-3. Both vitamin D3 and K2 help boost bone health, with K2 also supporting mitochondrial health. On the contrary, 
TMG helps with liver health and cellular replication, while omega-3 is ideal for maintaining heart health, cognitive functions, and skin hydration. While taking care of his health through a number of supplements, Sinclair doesn't overlook the importance of exercise as well. He either spends time working out in the gym or lifts dumbbells in his workspace, including 100 push-ups on a daily basis. Moreover, he walks two times a week with treadmill runs of around 20 minutes. For others, Sinclair suggests the same, a basic guideline of three sessions per week with being out of breath for 10 minutes. Sinclair says it is best to include at least 30 minutes of daily workout. He also uses an underdesk stepper to avoid being seated for too long to follow his commitment. I do my best not to sit down throughout the day. For longevity and health maintenance, Sinclair asks everyone following his workout routine to increase heart and respiratory rate during exercise, engage in high-intensity workouts, work on controlled, rapid, and deep breathing, and carry out challenging workouts that don't let you speak more than a few words and do cold weather workouts to boost immune system function. Following an intensive workout, Sinclair takes a cold shower to relax his sore muscles and relieve post-workout fatigue. Tally Health In 2023, David Sinclair co-founded and launched Tally Health, a consumer longevity company. Tally Health's main focus was to boost health span and extend longevity at the cellular level while also changing the way we age. Sinclair wanted to provide people with tools and information on how to take control of their aging process. Tally Health offers a biological aging clock, at-home diagnostic tests, and customized interventions to handle aging. Ready to implement David Sinclair's secrets in your life and be younger? Which part of his routine appeared easy and interesting for you? Comment down your thoughts below.